Hey everyone, when most of us think of prisons, we imagine a bleak, austere environment that's designed to punish and confine those who have broken the law. But the truth is, there's a lot more to prisons than meets the eye. In fact, there are many things about prisons that you may not know. One of the things that many people don't know about prisons is that they are often overcrowded, with inmates forced to sleep in cramped and unsanitary conditions. This can lead to a range of health problems, including the spread of infectious diseases like tuberculosis and HIV. It can also exacerbate mental health issues, as inmates struggle to cope with the stress and isolation of being confined to such a small space. Another thing that many people don't know about prisons is that they are often used as a form of social control. In many cases, prisons are used to incarcerate people who are seen as a threat to society, whether because of their race, religion, or political beliefs. This has led to the disproportionate incarceration of certain groups, particularly black and Hispanic Americans, who are far more likely to be imprisoned than their white counterparts. But perhaps the most surprising thing about prisons is that they often do very little to rehabilitate inmates and prepare them for life outside of prison. In fact, many inmates leave prison with few job skills, little education, and no support system to help them reintegrate into society. This can make it difficult for them to find work or housing, and can lead to a cycle of poverty and crime that perpetuates itself for generations. So what can be done to change this? One possible solution is to invest more in education and job training programs for inmates. By providing them with the skills and resources they need to succeed once they are released, we can help break the cycle of poverty and crime that keeps so many people trapped in the criminal justice system. Another solution is to rethink our approach to punishment and rehabilitation. Instead of focusing solely on punishment, we should be looking for ways to help inmates understand and take responsibility for their actions, while also providing them with the tools they need to make positive changes in their lives. And finally, we need to address the systemic issues that contribute to mass incarceration, such as racial bias in policing and sentencing, and the criminalization of poverty. Until we address these underlying issues, we'll continue to see disproportionate rates of incarceration among certain groups, and we'll continue to see a criminal justice system that fails to serve the needs of all people. So, as you can see, there's a lot more to prisons than meets the eye. If we want to create a justice system that truly serves the needs of all people, we need to take a hard look at the way our prisons are structured and operated. By doing so, we can work towards a more just and equitable society for all.